In this video, we're going to cover key things that you need to know about bloating, including symptoms, possible causes, what you can do at home to try and manage it, and when you should see a doctor. So first of all, what is bloating? Well, bloating is where your tummy feels full and uncomfortable. It's very common, and there are things that you can do to ease it, but you should see a doctor if it doesn't go away, and we'll cover the specifics of this at the very end of this video. So what are the symptoms of bloating? Well, you may be bloated if your tummy feels full or bigger than usual, if you've got tummy pain or discomfort, if your tummy is often rumbling or making noises, or if you're farting or passing gas more than usual. So let's discuss the causes of bloating. Well, the most common reason for bloating is having a lot of gas in your gut. This can be caused by some food and drinks, such as some vegetables and fizzy drinks, or by swallowing air when you eat. Often bloating is secondary to eating certain foods, and I've made another video on foods that might cause bloating, which you might want to check out after this video, and I've included a link to this in the description box of this video. It may also be caused as a problem with your digestion. These are things such as constipation, a food intolerance, something like celiac disease, or irritable bowel syndrome. Some people also feel bloated around their time of their period. Now, sometimes bloating that doesn't go away can be a sign of something more serious, such as ovarian cancer. And we'll discuss when bloating might be a sign of something more serious at the end of this video and when you might need to see your doctor about it. So how could you reduce bloating? Well, if you have bloating and you're finding it uncomfortable, then there are some things that you could try doing at home. These include exercising regularly to improve your digestion and help prevent bloating. It's thought that movement and exercise can help with your bowel movements as well as prevent retention of intestinal gas. It's also important to chew with your mouth closed, and this is because it can help you to avoid swallowing air. The third thing to do is to drink plenty of water. Fourthly, eat foods high in fiber if you're constipated, and try to eat smaller and more frequent meals instead of large meals. Finally, you can try massaging your stomach from right to left to release trapped wind. Now, in addition to these things that can help make your bloating symptoms better, there are also things that can make bloating worse, and you should try avoid these. So you should try to avoid drinking lots of fizzy drinks, alcohol, or caffeine in coffee and tea. Don't eat lots of foods that are known to cause gas, things like cabbage, beans, or lentils. Don't eat large meals late at night before bed or slouch when eating. Don't eat lots of processed, sugary, spicy, or fatty foods, and don't eat foods that you're intolerant to if you've got a food intolerance. Now, here in the UK, a pharmacist can also help with bloating, and you could talk to them about things like laxatives to help treat constipation, and medicines like buscopan to help ease the bloating. Now, in certain cases, bloating might signal an underlying condition. Although this is not always the case, it's important to make an appointment to speak to your doctor if you've been feeling bloated for three weeks or more, if you feel bloated regularly, so more than 12 times in a month, if you've tried changing your diet but you keep feeling bloated, if you've got a swelling or lump in your tummy, if you've got bloating along with being sick, diarrhea, constipation, weight loss, or blood in your poo, or if you find it difficult to move or do daily activities because you're bloated. Now, on the other hand, if you've got any of the following symptoms, then you need to seek immediate medical attention. So the first of these is if you have a stomach ache that comes on very suddenly or is one of the most severe stomach pains that you've ever had that doesn't go away. By this, I mean it makes it hard to talk, you can't sleep because of the pain, or you're struggling to move because of the pain. Secondly, if you're vomiting blood or your vomit looks like ground coffee. Thirdly, if your poo is bloody or black. Or fourthly, if you can't pee, poo, or fart. Now, in terms of treatment options for bloating, your doctor may refer you to a dietitian if general diet tips such as cutting down on foods that may trigger bloating are not helping, and they may also refer you to a specialist to find out what might be causing your bloating through special tests. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please consider leaving me a comment and consider liking the video if you've not done so already. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.